All right, let's do this. Let's talk about your total daily energy expenditure and how you burn calories. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, but Mandy, that's such a boring topic. It's really not, and it's gonna have a lot of aha, penny drop moments. Why is this such an important topic, you ask? Here's why. Because most people think they only burn calories in the gym, which is not the case. This object of year is your total daily energy expenditure. Now to break down your total daily energy expenditure, what it is, is the entire, the total amount of energy calories that you burn on a daily basis with absolutely everything. So this object of year is 100% of the calories that you burn in total per day. But now let's have a look at four different ways your body burns calories throughout the day to get you to your total daily calorie expenditure. So the first way your body burns calories is through your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. Don't worry about these. I'm going to fill them in now as we proceed with the video. Your basal metabolic rate can be up to 70% of the calories burnt throughout the day. 70% of your total daily energy expenditure and just a full disclaimer, as I go through the percentages, I want you to know it's on average. Some people may differ. Professional athletes, elite athletes might burn more calories through exercise et al. It's just a general guideline, but it gives you a very good idea of. So what is your basal metabolic rate? Your basal metabolic rate is any energy you use. So calories that you burn at rest. When you sit in like this, your body is utilizing energy to keep your organs going, to keep your hair growing, to keep your fingernails growing, to keep the blood pumping through your body. When you're sleeping at night, your body utilizes energy to perform its tasks and functions. And that is 70%. Everyone's basal metabolic rate will vary. It will be different. There's not much you can do to change it. What's next on the board, Mandy? Next is your NEAT. 15%! Say what? Again, this is on average. My need might be 20% because I fidget a lot. I walk around a lot. I hardly sit still. Your need is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So this is any unplanned movement. So like I said, like fidgeting, like waving your arms around, like walking to the kitchen to put the kettle on, walking to the lounge to open the curtains, any unplanned movement, cleaning the house, washing the windows, vacuuming the floor. All of that is your unplanned movement. Boom. That is what you want to focus on. That is the thing that is the most overlooked when it comes to you maybe wanting to increase the amount of calories that you burn. Everyone's like, oh, how can I increase my metabolism? The way that you can do that, increase your steps, increase your daily movement, your basic movement every single day. What is next on the list? Your thermic effect of feeding. So when you eat food, any food, your body has to absorb the food, your body has to digest the food, etc, etc. Your body requires energy to do that. So in the process of doing that, your body burns calories, it utilizes energy. And that can be about 10% of your total daily energy expenditure. Quick little hint, tip, piece of advice here. Protein out of the three macronutrients burns the most amount of calories whilst it's been absorbed and digested. Is it massively more? No, absolutely not. It's just something worth noting. And then next on the list is eat. Your exercise activity thermogenesis. That equates to 5% of your total daily energy expenditure. Now your exercise activity thermogenesis is any planned activity. So if you go for a run, if you go to the gym, if you go and do an activity that you have planned to do. Now please keep in mind your 5% is based on average. If you have someone that's going to the gym three times a day, they're probably going to have a higher percentage. Now you're asking, but Mandy, why are you telling us this? Why? What is this in what must I do with this information, Mandy? I'm telling you this so that you can stop looking at your watch after every gym workout and say, oh, I burned 250 calories. Because in the greater scheme of things, your planned activity is forming the smallest percentage of calories burned throughout the day. But I see so many people placing emphasis on their gym workouts purely to burn calories. And this is where I want you to concentrate because I don't want you to misunderstand me. I'm not saying don't go to the gym. I'm saying go to the gym 
for performance-based goals, to get fitter, to get stronger, to get healthier. And another reason why I'm highlighting all of this is because if you're just starting on your fat loss expedition and the gym overwhelms you, or you're not at the point where you want to start running, I want you to know that walking is the most underrated form of movement when it comes to your fat loss expedition as well as creating a healthier lifestyle. 